I'm Griffiths, I'm currently studying civil engineering here at the University of Birmingham. I'm taking an industrial year between my second and third year. I'm working on the library site at the university. The experience on the library will help me massively because it will give me a year's experience before I've graduated and it should help me in my final two years of study as I'll have knowledge of what actually happens on site and how buildings are built. The university's future students will benefit from this library by the improved study spaces and state-of-the-art facilities that the, universe, that the library will be able to offer. Thank you for your support. Hello, my name is Claire Ferland and I'm a retired administrator. I teach exercise to music classes now but I was part of the administration and uh, ran some of the courses. When the recreation scheme came to the sports centre um, I was employed to administer it and we, were, we had 56 classes when I started and we had 156 when it was handed over to someone else to run. Well, at the end of my teaching career it's nice to think that the students coming through will have a beautiful sports centre to, uh, to exercise in. Try, come and try it, that's the thing. You try something that you maybe wouldn't anywhere else. Well, every time I come, it's, um, it's even more exciting. To see, you can see the layout of the building now. Um, and I, do, I know what's going to be in the building. I just, I'm sure all the staff I'm appointing, okay, are, they're all really excited about the school. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, showing them around in due course as well. well this, the area behind me is, uh, is, the, is the main atrium for the school, the main community area, so where staff and students will eat together. Um, and a place to meet and talk. Well, the number of applications were well, phenomenal, really. I think a year ago, we could only have dreamed about where we are. So, in year seven, for 150 places, we've had 1,151 applications. And for the sixth form, for 200 places, and it's a very academic sixth form, high, highly selective, we've had, I think, just over 700 applications. So Every, everything you give to school will make a difference to the lives and life chances, okay, of next year, 350 students, but in a hundred years, literally tens of thousands. Uh, so we're improving life chances for children from all over Birmingham, from all types of backgrounds. We, we wouldn't be here without all of the additional support. The, the additional funding in terms of capital will make a massive difference in terms of being able to fulfil our ethos. Parents want to come to the school, our distinctive ethos about uh, character education and enrichment, and the whole layout of the building, the design, the facilities will make that come true, and the children will come here, will look back, I'm sure in years to come, and be proud of coming to this school and so for them, thank you. We are world class at this hospital in so many different areas. So the ITM is going to be something which will enable that world class knowledge to start to accelerate into patient benefit more quickly. So we've got the patients, we've got the knowledge, the scientific knowledge. That's going to develop almost the business community of SMEs for life sciences and biotech, which is going to help Birmingham to become world class in a number of different areas and the ITM is absolutely critical and the nice thing is the government support it, the doctors support it and I promise you patients support it. My name is Richard Butler, I'm a Birmingham Fellow here at the University and I'm also an, the academic keeper of the Lifeworth Museum of Geology. So the Lifeworth Redevelopment Project is, is a hugely exciting project. We're going to be building essentially a, a completely new museum so we're going to be retaining a lot of the existing character and uh, history of the lab work, but we're going to be providing an entirely new set of displays, expanding the existing display space, and really providing a, an amazing new experience for members of the university, but also the, the local community and, and people across the, the West Midlands region. Additional funding will allow us to, to really enhance and, and fully develop and, and, and expand uh, the possibilities uh, of, of what we're trying to do with this museum redevelopment.